It's motherfucking lit. It's motherfucking lit. It's motherfucking lit. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up everybody thank y'all for subscribing to my channel and before we start today i just kind of wanted to get a few things clear um i am not a actual nail tech although i did go to cosmetology school um i did hair for about 12 years so switching over has been amazing um i want y'all to know i'm not really giving y'all full tutorials i'm just showing y'all how i did stuff and maybe i'll help somebody with a design or Maybe me being on my journey will motivate somebody else to start. Um, I do feel like it's meant for me to be here. This is somewhere I'm, like, happy. And I feel like I'm efficient. And it's just working out for me. The clients are rolling in. It's just, I don't know, it's it's coming very, very natural. I still have some things I have to work on. Like, sometimes I get nervous on certain people and I just mess they sets up. Like the one you're seeing me do today. It's not messed up, but I wish I would have went in more thick. But I got nervous because this hand is not cheap, okay? This is a red iguana hand. It is not cheap. And I got super nervous. It was like, I don't want to touch the skin part. So, yeah, the application wasn't the best, but the results were very cute. So, let's get into some difficulties I kind of had with this hand. Um, It comes with a glass stand that I didn't know about. So, I should have ordered it. And I didn't. And... I didn't have anywhere to really like put my hand that where the hand would stay up. Um, I didn't want to clamp it to my desk because I get a lot of dust on my desk. So I'm I kind of created my own mount with some uh, supplies from the dollar store, <laughs> and um, I just took like a couple of lids off of something, and I took some uh, acrylic mounting tape, and I just mounted it on top of that. Um, that way I don't destroy the bottom of the mount. I would also like to clear up the theory that acetone will take away any of the details on the hand. That is definitely not, not true. Um, this hand was easy to wash. It was just easy to deal with in general. Um, now, the first time, like I said, I was super, super nervous this time around because I was like, who wants to mess up a hand that costs about 150 to $170 alone? So, yeah, I was, like, super, super nervous for that. <laughs> and this is the 3.0 um, silicone hand. It only comes with four fingers. It does not come with the thumb. So, yeah, we won't be doing thumbs whenever we do this hand. But usually I, ma I match my thumb with one of my other fingers. I really don't too much go out of my way for the thumb, even though it is one of my favorite fingers. It's just, you know easy to do it's it's very easy to do and some for some reason the shaping on my thumb always comes out so good y'all and i've also talked to a couple of my um regular clients you know the people who let beginners practice on them and stuff like that i've gotten better and better and better and they're okay with me recording them so maybe one day y'all will see that as y'all know i am pregnant so it'll be a while before y'all catch me going live because i'll be having a newborn baby <laughs> in may so maybe i'll try to get a live out before the baby and you know try to get the baby on the schedule and then we'll talk about lives there go my coffee <laughs> sorry y'all i know i sound super raspy i just woke up but i have to do this voiceover now because i have multiple children uh some of y'all might not know that <laughs> i am on my fourth child alone but also my fiance has five kids which really ain't y'all business <laughs> Because <laughs> I know y'all going to get up over here and act a fool. But, yeah, um, we, we got a big happy family up over here. So I have to do my voiceovers while they're asleep because it's the only time my house is this quiet. Going in with the ready one of glue that came with the hand. I really do like this glue. It is really thick. I don't think I would use it every time. I, this is something that you can kind of conserve a little bit. Um, I would probably only do it for, like, my really, really, like, crazy sets honestly um just because i know that the nail wouldn't give me any problem and i know that i would have to be doing a lot of work on the hand and the tips that i ended up using today are from amazon um i will put them in the description down below and y'all can go to my storefront and find that and these are 3xl um, tips so i did end up cutting them down to maybe like an xl um, that's just my favorite lint. Personally, long and XL are my favorite lints. So y'all probably be seeing me do a lot of that unless I'm doing like major designs or 
I'm clout chasing. <laughs> but um, no, because people tend to comment negative things on longer nails. So a lot of times I'll do something and I'm like, okay, it's going to get reactions even if it's not a positive reaction. So getting into the design, the first thing that we're going to go in with is a dynamic nails transfer gel. Just a tip for transfer gel, it is something that has to be cured before you put the transfer foil on top of it. And that's something that I had to learn the hard way. So make sure that you cure this for at least 60 seconds before you put your foil on it. And it'll make it super easy to lay the foil down. So this is my last time using this lamp. I'm sad to see it go. This thing have been through the ringer, y'all. But this is my last time using this lamp. It was a sun lamp. It was really good, but it did kind of stop working as good as it was working at first. So I'm glad I had already ordered two more. And as y'all can see, I was curing with this thing at least twice for 90 seconds each time because it just wasn't doing a job anymore. I'm also learning that every transfer foil is different. Sometimes what you think is the top of the transfer foil is the bottom and vice versa. So the first thing you're going to do is try to map out if you're working with the top or the bottom of the foil. And I promise it'll get easier from there. Because the first time I ever used foils, I just completely messed it up. I was scratching off the actual print instead of putting the print on the nail. It was scratching it off on my nail. Here I am peeling that off. I hope y'all can see now how easy this can be. Um, it is a little time consuming, but not as time consuming as you actually having to draw a bunch of flowers on your nails. So go ahead and try this out. Um, it might save you some time. Also, you can see me using my scissors as a scraper because it just helps it go by faster for me. But next time I'll probably use something like a cuticle pusher. I just couldn't find mine at the time, but that might be the more safe option. Also, I put transfer gel on all of the fingers, but I'm not going to be doing a transfer foil on the actual ring finger. I'm going to be doing flowers. So I ended up um, just going over that with a top coat. That way it doesn't affect the acrylic. Okay, so I'm woke now, y'all. I had a little bit of my coffee. I'm in my nail room. <laughs> so we're going to go on top of all of this with a shiny top coat. That way we can seal it off before we start to place down our acrylic. The first color we're going to go in with is the Creamy Peach from Dynamic Nails. Y'all, I love this color. I really, really do. I love it so much, I accidentally got two of them. When I went back, I was like, oh, I don't think I have this color. And I did have it. <laughs> So, I'm pretty sure I really, really like it. <laughs> anyway, this is what I was talking about, about getting too close to the cuticle, y'all. Look how tedious I'm being and how petty I'm being with working this in. And for some reason, it was not trying to do right by me. Um, As far as letting me ombre it, I was like, okay, you want to act friendly today. That's cool. So, I decided I would come a little bit closer for y'all to see how it was giving me difficulties um, I guess on camera it doesn't look that bad, but like to me, I was like, oh my god, I'm getting so aggravated. You see how I'm like pushing it back, it's too thick, um, it's running down the nail, and I barely, I feel like I barely put any, so like I was like, okay, but we got it together eventually, y'all. I'm just gonna let y'all kind of watch how nervous I got. Look, look how I'm being tedious around the skin area. I'm like, please don't mess it up because I'm under the impression that I would mess up the hand. But when I ended up like soaking some of it just to test it out, nothing happened. So the next time y'all see me work with this hand, I'll just get better and better and better. I don't even be this nervous working on real people. When I work on real people, it's kind of go smooth most of the time. Unless like, let's say you're somebody who I've been knowing for a long time and I'm really trying to impress you because I still can't believe I'm doing nails, you know. And for the acrylic application, I'm just going to be quiet because, like I said, I'm not trying to teach nobody. I'm still learning. So I'm going to just let y'all watch in peace.
So for this finger, we are definitely going to switch it up. I'm just going to do the entire finger, the creamy peach color. And then we're going to end up putting flowers on top of it. Remember I told y'all I needed a little bit of practice on flowers. I feel like one day I'm going to be a beast at flowers, y'all, because I love flowers. Like, I was born in the spring. I'm an Aries. April the 4th is my birthday. So I love flowers. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm just like, ooh, I want to do a flower on everything. Let me do a flower on your design. It's like evil face. But anyway, all jokes aside, we're going to do this entire finger. And then we're going to come back in and do the flower design. And yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm so upset with myself watching this video because I get on camera and I just don't do my acrylic the same. I know that this is not how I do acrylic in person. Like how it's like super watery and... I don't know what's going on, y'all, but just know we got it done, okay? So we're going to encapsulate all of that with clear so we can make sure everything is nice and set. And then after that, we'll come back over with our flower. And also, I want to say I am getting used to working with um, the clear. It is a bit runny for me, no matter the temperature. Um, I'm looking for a monomer that will maybe help me with the clears a little bit more. I'm not sure if I want them to dry fast, fast, but like maybe like in the middle. And that's what I'm having issues with is like working with the clear. Um, I'm learning that it's, it's kind of like time consuming when I do get it right. So, yeah, I'll be banging my head on the wall trying to work with this clear. OK, um, this one is actually a little bit more thin than the one that I'm used to using. But it is when I tell you see through, it is a very good clear. If I'm being honest with you, like see through, see through. So it's not like all uh, milky or like cloudy or nothing like that. It's just difficult to work with clears in general. I don't care what brand it is. So far, I have not had um, the best clears. Now, if you know a company that I should try their clear acrylic and it's not like runny or like beginner friendly, maybe it's a little bit more advanced and it's going to dry faster than y'all. Just let me know. Now, oof, y'all. The filing with the hand, I was nervous at first as well, but I do realize practicing with this hand helps me with my clients as well because now that I'm having clients after this hand, they're actually thanking me for like holding their fingers while I file or like, I guess it's just the habit from like working with a lot of press on nails and working with the hand. So it actually came in handy for me. Um, also, this dust collector I got from Dynamic Nails, like the actual store. I don't think it's their brand or anything like that, but when I tell y'all it's worth it, it came with a drill. I did not know it was going to come with a drill. And also, I'll be dropping that video soon. I did like a dynamic nail haul, about $500 worth. So, I hope y'all are excited to see that video. And I do not regret it. I will spend another $500 in dynamic. Um, they have some really good stuff. Their acrylics are very easy to work with. Um, definitely beginner friendly because I had a lot of acrylics at first that were drying super fast and I was like, how do I work with this? <laughs> so dynamic definitely made it, um, super, super easy for me. So be on the lookout for that tutorial sometime this week. This is just like some slight filing that I do before I go over the nail with the actual drill. And then I'll go back over and file again after I'm done using the uh, sanding bit. I am aware that not everyone does this and that is time consuming, but I do use a sanding bit. I use a 150 um, sanding bit or a 120 sanding bit to just go over the nail and get it smooth and clean. And that's just what I feel works best for me, especially when there's not like a bunch of imperfections. If there are a bunch of imperfections, then I'll go in with the 80 grit or 100 grit. And kind of get it smoothed out. And then I'll go over all of that with a buffer. Now, again, this is just the way I like to do it. It's safe. It makes my clients feel safe. Um, I try not to pull out a metal drill unless I'm, like, really smoothing out the nail. So, I don't know. So far, they like it. So far, nobody's complaining about pain or soreness or anything like that. I don't even use a metal drill on um, the real nail beds. I just don't do it. Um, that was one of the things I learned in cosmetology school was like going over the nail with anything metal can kind of destroy the nail or whatever. So uh, I went to school back in 2013, 2014. So <laughs> that was a while ago. I'm not so sure what they're what they are teaching now. But one person I can commend and I know that I'm rambling, but one person I can commend for educating is Zule because some stuff that she said in her video, I'm like, yes, we learned that in school. 
And if I learned that in cosmetology school, I can't imagine what they taught y'all as nail techs. And y'all get out here into the real world and throw it all out the window and don't care. For you to be okay with destroying somebody's nail bed is insane to me. And for you to take pride in your work knowing that somebody's going to come back to you in pain or sore or with a million broken nails is insane. I don't even like doing my clients nails who they like, oh, one of them ripped off. And I'm like, oh, you finna be cursing me out the whole time knowing that you ain't supposed to be up here. You should let your nail heal. And I'll kind of get on them the whole time doing their nails. So I'm just saying, y'all, uh, make sure you go into somebody who's not using metal on your nails unless they really unless you like in a rush and that's just what you like. Cool. But honestly, Zule is right when she's saying like use a sanding bit on your nail. Um Preferably a 240, maybe maybe a 180 if you don't have any more 240s. I'm now going to top coat all my nails. Um, I don't know if this is how everybody else do it, but I find it easier to do my flowers and stuff after I've top coated. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do, but that's how I do it. So we're going to go in with Dynamic Nails Electric Purple and Coral Reef. And we're going to blend those two colors to make the flower. I'm not the best at explaining flowers because, like I said, y'all, <laughs> y'all can watch. I'm here to show y'all how I did stuff, but I'm not the best at explaining. But what I try to do is go in like a moon shape, let it dry a little bit, and then I start to flatten out my petal. Now, the best video I can say to watch on flowers that I know of are Zule's because hers aren't as detailed as I've seen a lot of other people do, and I, they completely, like, confuse me. Um, so she has some very cool roses that she does that are just, like, really simple, really cool. And then if you want to get into, like, the difficult rose petals, <laughs> I will go over to Young Nails because he had me in a loop. But he's the one who kind of taught me how to do, um, like, more of a detailed rose, I would say. But everybody does their flowers different, so... You might gravitate towards a bunch of different people as you go on this journey with me. So I'm pretty much going to give y'all a close up and just be quiet and let y'all watch and learn, I guess you could say. Yeah, guys, so that's pretty much how I got my flower. <laughs> I know I probably just didn't even make it no better for y'all because I didn't do no voiceover, and I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I really don't even know how to explain it. Maybe next time when I do a full-on flower video, then I'll kind of get more into detail on how I do it because maybe by then I'll have it a little bit more down pat. Um, as far as the petals, I just put two dots and then I took the tip of my brush and I pressed down and made like these huge, huge flower petals um, as if they were falling away from the rose. And also, I just recorded a little bit of this flower because I wanted to show y'all that I actually did another one. 
But here are the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is not my best work, but it is a stepping stone for me, especially as far as my flowers and the design itself. I could have done more, but I wanted to keep it simple. Especially with that being my first time using the hand. Now, this is my dynamic nail supply. I hope that y'all are ready for this. My room has changed since then, so don't talk about my printer in the background. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time. It's motherfucking lit. It's motherfucking lit. It's motherfucking lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah.